Hello guys, and welcome to the weekly croc vlog. Third installment, I believe. I've stayed consistent. This is going well. I hope you've watched the others. Anyway, Monday today has been full of lots of life admin, but also lots of little things that most people probably don't really realize. You know when you're a business person or entrepreneur, all the little things that just take longer than normal. So it's like, it's already 5 p.m. I'm at the gym now. But a couple of things I have been doing, I'll show you now on the app. First of all, a nice little update we're doing is having different colors for the Gym Fit, Home Fit, She Fit. These are just examples, but I had to choose different colors for these. And you know how many millions of different colors there are on the hex code? Anyway, um, not only that, but also which photos go down here. And then in there, obviously for each four of the plans, there's different photos. So I have to choose, send off to the graphic designer um, to make the specific resolutions of those photos all different like little things like that to get this app ready but also um, the text this is obviously all just example text what is that like Latin or something obviously this is all example text so all of this text needs to be written for the app for all the different programs getting much much closer to launching the um, the gym fit one two three and four plans for the subscription model. Anyway, today is a posterior leg day on my Gym Fit 2 plan. I better get to it. I just wanna say, I used to always have massive lower back spasms when doing deadlifts and squats and things like that. So now I always make sure that I use a band, get my glutes and core warmed up before I start those big exercises. And now I never get spasms at all. Good technique, activated muscles, you should be fine. Check out these exercises and give it a go yourself. So a little bit of context for this week, um, it's Monday today and on Saturday at the end of the week we're going to Ibiza for a fitness retreat um, and I am the fitness coach on this retreat in Ibiza, it's for a week, um, anyway that's going to be for the next video, not for this video, um, but it means this week I'm so freaking focused on my training, on my nutrition, I want to feel good in Ibiza but also I've been so all over the place last few months with my own training routine, with how much travel I've been doing and all the challenges that I've been doing, um, that this is only the second or third week back into my CrocFit routine and I'm absolutely loving it. And it'll be sad that I have to drop it again for another week and go to Ibiza and do body weight training or yoga or take a little week off or whatever. Um, so yes, I'm very focused for this week uh, with training, as you'll probably see. I've had a busy evening filming, editing, and doing CrocFit work, but we did also have to just go to the hospital again to see Gramps, my mum's dad. He's getting weaker and weaker, very unwell, so we're seeing him almost daily if possible. Oh, I'm burping because just having a protein shake. What time is it? Half eight. Didn't have enough protein today, so just finishing off a protein shake. Guys, you should be tracking your food. The number one thing if you're training and doing weightlifting, etc is to see how much protein you're having daily. I use my fitness pal daily to see how much protein and how many calories I'm having. And often I get to the end of the day and realize that I haven't had one gram per pound of body weight. That's my normal goal. Um, anyway, so that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm just clearing up a bit of work, but also wanted to show you. The book that I'm currently reading is this one. Probably most of you have already read this because I got a lot of feedback on Instagram about this, but I already prioritized my sleep, but after reading this, although I'm like halfway through, I really, really prioritize it now. If you haven't read it, I really recommend you do. It's very, very interesting. So it's, oh God, it's nine o'clock now, so I need to start winding down, stop looking at screens, and get a good night's sleep. Okay, welcome to Tuesday, and today what is on my mind is the scales, the weight. As you know, or maybe you don't know from previous videos, I am looking to lose body fat at the moment, um, but also I'm doing lots of weight training and building muscle as well. And I'm looking at the scales every single day and I know that I should be losing weight because I know what my target weight is, but my weight is maintaining and it's a complete mind fuck. I know it is for me and for everybody else, but when I look in the mirror and I look at myself every single day, I can see results happening. So I know for a fact I should be focusing on the way I look and the way I feel. And if the weight doesn't change right now, then may, maybe it will in a few days time or a week. So if you're on your fitness journey, don't get completely obsessed with 
the number on the scales and look at the other things that you could be measuring and most of all trust the process trust the process keep on the calorie goal that you have keep training keep up the activity keep sleeping and trust the process the momentum will build and results will start happening okay um today i've been doing lots of work it's already in the afternoon um got lots of this app stuff going on i know i keep talking about it but it's um real like heavy big development for this subscription launch so it's requiring requiring lo lots of work from me with the images and the text and stuff like that but also if you watched last week's video um i went to an acting workshop on wednesday and the same is happening um, tomorrow, Wednesday, and for the next four or five weeks. That's not it, something else. There's a, there's a piece of paper where I've been given a monologue I need to memorize and read and prepare for tomorrow. Uh, and she said, the worst thing you do is prepare one day before. Here I am. What do you expect me to do? My life is crazy. So I've got to learn and prepare that today as well. I still got to get to the gym and do everything else. Anyway, crazy, crazy life. Breaking my fast today with this high protein, high fat, some vegetables in there as well. So we've got scrambled eggs with some onions, spinach and avocado, seasoned with salt, pepper and cayenne pepper. I have just posted the first croc vlog, which means the croc vlog is a real thing, the weekly. So number one is just posted, um, number two is still in the editing process, and I'm filming number three for you now. It's a real thing, I'm keeping up with it. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, I now have my pre-workout in hand, Muscle Bond from Reflex Nutrition. I'm on my way to the gym for chest day. Oh my God, what is this? things I'm really focusing on today's workout is squeezing. It's not just about lifting heavy weight, it's about contracting and squeezing the muscles. That's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people have. It's just trying to lift, oh beep, trying to lift, but use your mind to contract and squeeze the muscle as much as you can. Morning, happy Wednesday. Do you know what the most annoying thing about <laughs> using the scales are? I get really, really personal and specific about it. I'm trying to get 25 grams, so you're tipping it to make 24, 24. It's like, why is it staying on 24? And then you do a tiny bit more and it goes to 26. Tiny, tiny problems messing with my brain. Anyway, off to London this morning, so I have an early breakfast. Um, it's my next acting workshop. Last night you saw me practicing my monologue. I'll practice a couple more times and wish me the best. So, acting class went okay. I enjoyed it. I am enjoying it, but I'm not very good. And it's a tough thing for me to do something which I'm not very good at. Everything that I do every day with the fitness, the training, is just doing more of the things that I'm good at and I'm trained at. So to do something that's completely new to me is a challenge. But got to just keep working at it, keep practicing. I then rushed up to uh, Houston area um, for a meeting, a meeting with Instagram, a guy from Instagram called Kevin, very nice guy, just wanted to talk through about growth and just have a chat about things. So I've just had that meeting now and now I'm gonna have lunch and go home. So this is the defining moment. The defining moment when you sit on the sofa, you don't have much time, and you contemplate going to the gym. So basically I've got, I've just got home from my day in London. I've got an hour and a half to get back on the train to go to West London for a dinner event. My body is a little bit broken this morning. I can feel the doms from training, but I really want to keep up this consistent training because I know that on um, Saturday or Sunday I'm going to rest when I go to Ibiza. So this is the moment where you consider, can I squeeze in the gym? You've got to think about the traffic, the getting changed, the preparation to then get back on the train. Baxter, what are we going to do? This doesn't help. If you're sitting on me, then of course I just want to sit and cuddle. I got it. Perfect opportunity for me to do some home fit at home. Not enough time to get to the gym, really. 
So doing this home fit workout. It's core focus, bit of cardio as well. There is no excuses. When you can train at home and use your body, just because I didn't have much time, still no excuses when you're motivated and when it's so easy to do. Follow, use my CrocFit app. It will guide you through the whole process. Okay, that was awesome, exactly what I needed. Now I need a very quick shower. Bosh, there we go. Late, as usual. So I'm in West London on King's Road, going to a restaurant called Megan's for the launch of their new menu. I'll show you some of the food we're eating. Thanks. It's gonna have pasta. Oh, I thought it was you, sorry. I do love getting out and about, being sociable and all the rest of it, but it's too late. I love my 9.30 p.m. bedtime. And when I'm out past that, bear in mind it's like 11.30 now, when I'm out this late, all I can think about is the poor quality sleep I'm gonna have. I'm not even 30 yet, but why am I acting like such a, an old man? It's because I know that sleep is so important for me. Good morning, happy Thursday. This might be my favorite thing to do, is just bury my face in their bellies and Baxter's too. We are so lucky to have these most incredible cats. So I'm back in central London today in Fitzrovia area. Going to this place, I have a little activation to do on Instagram, a little bit of fun with X-Men and Toshiba. Looking forward to getting in there and showing you. This is the bag from the actual film. I want to take that home for myself, I think. And downstairs in here, it's like we're in Xavier's office with a massive Toshiba screen. Nice big sofas and it's like we're on set in the school. Popcorn, Hershey's, I'll take all of that. Thank you. Train home, but I did get the DVD, so I can't wait to get home and watch this, hopefully sometime in the next few days, or in the weekend before Ibiza, if not, then after Ibiza. Um, lunch on the go, we've got some chicken, quinoa, sweet potato salad, um, and then get home in time for the gym. This is where I really hate pushing the caffeine barrier past two o'clock it's now it's now 3 30 this really is my limit for caffeine and uh, i know so many of you watching loads of people have caffeine way late into the day but i really do limit myself to afternoon mid-afternoon time to give myself the best quality sleep even if you even if you do get to sleep quite quickly you're not always having the best quality sleep if caffeine is still in your body because your brain and your body is still having to fight off and get rid of that caffeine because it stays in your body for a very long time um so this really is the limit which is why i like having workouts in the in the late morning early afternoon so i can take caffeine have a really good efficient workout um but here we are 3 30 this is the limit but it's worth it Not a great session today. Um, this morning, when I was putting on my trainers, I actually spasmed my back, which hasn't happened for ages. It used to happen all the time. One of those really annoying things. Not a major one, but it's actually got worse throughout the day. Um, so I'm like, I'm in pain to twist and to bend down. Um, so I didn't lift as heavy in the workout, and I did. I skipped a couple of exercises. Um, so it's just one of those days. But I still feel like something was better than nothing today. Um, okay, a slightly different thing. Today is World Mental Health Day. Um, obviously not when you're watching this because this has quite a large delay on posting but today is World Mental Health Day and I just posted on Instagram about it so I thought I'd share the same message with you guys and that is I know fitness doesn't or uh, like doesn't have a positive impact on everybody's mental health but I've seen the incredible magical things that it has done to people's minds because it brings people together it helps you 
fall in love with your body and yourself. Um, it creates those positive habits which then have an overflowing effect to the rest of your life with eating well and, and hopefully good habits. Um, as well as being part of a community, a physical community at the gym or wherever you're training. Hopefully you interact with others and you're part of a community. As well as actually going after um, goals and having that healthy target that you're searching for and having a purpose and a passion reaching for something is actually really healthy for the mind to do. Um, so a lot of these things and I've seen the most incredible transformations mentally that people have gone through when they've adopted a fitness lifestyle um, but to cap all of that off obviously fitness is not the be all and end all for mental health um, but it's been spoken about so much more these days so if you do need help then there is always someone to talk to and always someone who will listen to you um, and if if not around you then there are certainly charities that have helplines that you can call up and talk to anytime anyway moving on from that I'm gonna go home, have a healthy dinner, and probably get in the bath because um, I don't regularly have baths, but with this back, I wanna really relax the muscles and have a good night's sleep. Today is leg day with Matt and Olivia. I was very tempted to just do arms because I'm going to Ibiza tomorrow, but leg day it is. We're at David Lloyd. This is where I was a PT for like seven years. Always a little bit awkward to come in here because I didn't leave on the best terms, but Still, it is quite reminiscing of all the years I spent here as a PT. Uh, just found out today that I am on the cover of Men's Fitness Australia. How cool is that? It's the same cover, the same photo as Men's Fitness UK, which was at the end of last year. So, pretty awesome that Men's Fitness magazines, they're like franchises, they they share each other's photos. So a massive thank you to Men's Fitness Australia. If you are in Australia, then take a look out for it and uh, tag me in your photos if you find it. And who's gonna send me one? Somebody needs to send me one. I've got friends, somebody will send me one. Um, but I remember when being on a magazine cover was a distant dream, like it would never ever happen. And now I just wake up and realize that I'm on another magazine cover. It's crazy, it's unreal. And I don't know where I'm gonna put this one. <laughs> It is mind-blowing, but I'm massively massively grateful. It still blows me away every single time I'm Gonna end this video answering a couple of questions that I get asked all the time and that is body grooming and Shaving stuff. Do I wet shave or do I electric shave? I very very rarely wet shave only if I've got like a photo shoot coming up where I want a really close shave But that's quite rare so I normally just use an electric shaver at its lowest setting or without this cap on and just do a body shave and, and trim um, across my body, sometimes uh, like my abs and my legs, etc., depending on what's going on. Um, and then, secondly, is tanning. I've been using this Centrope tan, um, I've used many tans over the years, and this is a pretty good one. And you just put it on the glove and apply. This is a wash off one, so I'd have to keep it on for one, two, three hours and then wash it off. And then you have like a, a face mist spray here as well. So the reason I'm ending the vlog here is because tomorrow we're going to Ibiza and I would normally be doing this vlog Sunday to Sunday and it's only Friday now but I, th I thought it would be stupid to start the Ibiza trip um, towards the end of a vlog. So I'm going to cut the vlog here and start a fresh vlog tomorrow going to the airport and going to Ibiza so look out for that one. We're on our way out now to have some dinner with um, with our friends in Clapham Junction and plan the rest of our Brazil trip which is happening at the end of uh, December for New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this week as much as I've had and uh, give it a thumbs up. Please click subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.